This is Tapu7. A heads up for everybody out there that likes to catch my live streaming. I want you to know that it will be solely on DLive this Saturday from Louisville. The NFAC is set to be in downtown doing a formation and a march. Now, this group arrived down in Stone Mountain on the 4th of July, turned some heads, and anytime you have a large group of people marching down the road, especially in all black with guns, it's going to turn some heads. Now, nothing crazy happened with them down there. They went down there, a show of force pretty much, but there's a lot of questions swirling around this group. And with that said, when you have a group, what is a group? It is full of individuals. And each and every individual is their own person in this. Respect to every soul out there that shows it. Now, the leadership is a little different. The very top guy, Grandmaster Jay, he's calling himself. There's a lot of questions flying. And it seems like there's some not-so-good stuff coming out of this right out the gate. One of the things is that this guy has been caught wearing a Staff Sergeant 9 I believe that's what they said, Sergeant Level 9, insignia on civilian clothing. Anyone that's in the military know that this is against the rules, that this is not allowed. They show this in a whole other video. Some guys went digging on him to try to figure out if he was who he said he was. And this is what they come to find out. Then they go to his LinkedIn. They go to look up all of his awards. Nowhere on there, anywhere, is this level that he's claiming on his shirt pretty suspect to most people that say it would be on there if he was really what he's saying he is but it's not on there because they're saying he's not that so it's a simple question and it's one you're probably not going to get a solid answer to be honest with you because they've gone up and asked this guy when he formed the the whole group he refuses to even say that now i get it you want to keep some things on the download some things to yourself but if you want to be accepted by the public then you better be ready to answer some questions to the public and if you don't care about the public, then who do you care about? Okay, it's one thing to come down here and say that you're here for justice for Brianna, which is something I support too. I'll be standing there right alongside that message. We need justice for Brianna Taylor and the guy that got murdered in front of his food joint by the National Guard and the police swept under the rug. I dig that. I'm down for that. But anything else that goes out of those bounds that threatens people is garbage. Now, they say they're not going to be down there to threaten people. Okay, so I want to make that clear. They spoke to the city of Louisville. They're accepting of them coming down and doing all this. Kentucky is an open carry state. It's a constitutional carry state, meaning that you can open carry or you can carry on your persons if you're allowed to carry, meaning if you're not in any trouble, have any felonies, meaning it's the wild, wild west around here. Okay, and it's just the way that we like it. Because when there's plenty of armed people, if some idiot wants to show up popping off shots, you've got everybody around drawing down on him, and it's going to end it quick. I really hope nothing happens at this event. He does use strong language to try to tell anybody that if they want to show up against him, they will respond. They will not be the aggressors, but they will respond with pure aggression if anything happens. Let's just hope the federalities, somebody up here, hasn't got something concocted for something to go down. That's the first thing I'm on when I get up here, checking rooftops, looking for federalities, and looking for suspect crap. Because that's, that's the stuff you have to be watching for. So, you know, here in America, we're free to do these things, come together as groups, to march, to flex our, our rights. That is all part of America, know that, and we should respect that. But when people start to terrorize, that's a whole different ballgame. Okay, so it's two different things. We're just going to take this one step at a time. And like I said, I look to give these individuals that I speak with out here a fair shake. And hopefully they can give respect back. But we'll see how this all goes down. The only issue that I see thus far is the guy at the top with question marks around him that he doesn't want to answer or we can't get answered. So we're going to work to get those answered. I look to be on the ground. I want to thank everybody that supports me traveling on the road. Anyone that hits that PayPal for gas, money, hotel, and all that, it will take me a few hours to get up there. Even though it's in Kentucky, it still take me a few hours to get up there and set up. But this is the plan. Saturday, around noon, live streaming. D-Live exclusive. Over here on YouTube, somebody goes by bumping Tupac, it catches me a, a copyright strike. That don't happen. 
on DLive. That's why we're over there, and it's only going to be over there. Links below. See you guys Saturday. Locked and loaded, baby.